hello friends been here with another video thank you very much for tuning in short little video today just uh, providing a little update on my uh, brass boots by Grandstone. these are the boots that i choose to go and participate in the patina thunderdome 2 if you are interested on uh, learning a little bit about uh, the contest the patina thunderdome contest uh, you can uh, head out to the previous video I recorded introducing the boots and um, explaining a little bit about the contest. So you can go and watch the video after you watch this one. Uh, so it's been a month now and uh, this is what uh, the brass boot looks like nowadays. Uh, as expected, uh, the, the tan color in the uh, leather has uh, been... Um, darkening a little bit i have been able to put some uh, scuffs here all for walking i haven't uh, i haven't been abusing the boots i've been just uh, wearing them like a normal wear like i will wear uh, any of my other boots to go to work uh the patina thunderdome uh, contest it lasts for six months so i'm hoping that in six months uh uh, put more color and uh, a more character in the leather of the boot. This leather here is the um, excess tan, uh, really delicate leather, more delicate than what you will have on uh, Red Wind boots or some other war boots that you may find uh, in uh, out there in the market. This one is a little bit more. Uh, more delicate and uh, because of that I haven't been uh, giving more abuse to the boots I've been just giving them normal normal wear breaking of the boots I uh, faced a little bit of discomfort but I think that is because the, from the beginning I've been tying the laces of my boots as close as I can to my skin uh, hoping that the boots will get the shape of my foot and uh, it will improve the character uh, of, of the boot. Um, a little bit of discomfort here in the heel cap. Uh, these boots in the beginning were a little bit like straight but with the wear now I can see forming a little bit of a ball here where it uh, holds the, my, the heel of, my, of the back of my feet. Um, a little bit of wrinkles too, that's from a uh, normal walk. From uh, day one, that when I put the boots on, I went on a walk for about five miles. That is a park no far from where I live. And uh, it is a nice uh, five miles to walk. Most of the walk is in concrete and, uh, and cement. And that's what I started noticing here also, a little bit of warm out in the back of the uh, rubber and the heel of the boots, which is normally where I would uh, worn out uh, my boots i haven't uh, like i said i haven't been abusing them uh, ab abusing these boots too much i haven't uh, done any any uh, jar work with them i don't know if uh, if i go and mold the, the grass and all the grass stain on the boots that will uh, count as patina i know it will make the color of the leather change a little bit but i kind of feel bad uh, just get a nice pair of boots like this ones and just go and practically destroy them with all the work that I will I will probably put other boots that are more for that type of activity this ones here um, even though they look chunky and rugged I think they're more like casual and uh, I've been uh, just wearing them for like a casual wear I've been doing a lot of work like I said a lot of walk like I said and uh, most of the walk has been in cement i have walked some trails out in the woods and uh, even some uh, gravel roads uh, the soil here get uh, full with little pebbles and little rocks when i whenever i walk on uh, on gravel but that's that's expected i'm not uh, i can't do much <laughs> to change that uh, but i'm liking it so far i'm liking uh, the change in the color here um I'm liking in the wear that the laces already uh, displaying. I don't know if I will end the contest with these laces. It looks like uh, they're gonna break anytime. Um, I have also 
uh, applied uh, conditioning one time because for all the while that I do, um, I do a lot uh, like dust and I think that dust tend to extract the uh, conditioning on the boots so it dried out the leather so I applied one layer of conditioning a while back and um, they, uh, they look fine. Um, I don't know what else uh, you would like to know about these boots. These are the brass boot by Grandstone. I am wearing them for the Patina Thunderdome contest. And um, I hope to uh, be able to provide you with more updates coming up. This one is the one month. Uh, planning on doing one at two months and and uh, accordingly. So stick around and uh, stay tuned. I hope to see you again in uh, the next video. Please uh, like and subscribe. I'm planning on doing more the boot talk and uh, hopefully you decide to participate in that conversation in the comment section of the video. So until then, stay well. Bye.